So you had a little think about it. How do you feel about moving across the border, taking over the northern branch? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I've prepared a list of questions to put my mind at ease, if that's if that's all right. That is actually quite a good idea. Okay, come on then, fire away. Okay, first one, uh, do I have to wear a jumper at all times? I don't think it's compulsory. Not compulsory, good, because I'm a, I'm a shirt and tie. Can I go? Uh, do they give out free gloves and scarves when you go past Cambridge? No, but we can sort some out if you desperately need them. Uh, so, so what about earmuffs? So I add that to the list I'm supposed to be making. Ah, this is a good one. Do I get provided with blankets or would I have to take my own? But mate, listen, it, look, if any of these questions are about not keeping warm, we can carry on this meeting. If not, let's just call it there, shall we? Questions not about keeping warm. And that'll be everything then. What a waste of time then. What a waste of time that is. Why? Email me those beforehand. We can get those sorted out. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Thames FC. It's me, Dr. Benji FM. What a pleasure to have you. Take a seat, go and enjoy yourself. Since we last met, you can see there we are 14th in the league table. Two wins, two draws, two defeats. Who's the most average team in the country? Thames. Who's the most average team in the country? Thames. You don't have to get involved first time. We're just we're learning it. So, yes, since the 1 1 against North Ferrari, Fasley came next and it was a 2 2 uh, game for us. We got a goal from Liam Kinnear and an own goal gifted to us by Bailey Stead Ben. Thank you very much to him. And then a 2 1 defeat. And I'll, I'll quickly show you this in a little bit more detail. You can see there Liam Kinnear, late doors, 92nd, 93rd minute goals. I brought him on a substitute on 80 minutes and he scored. I, I, I jumped up and down. I was very excited. It was it was a giddy moment for me. But then followed that up front spectacularly with a 1 0 defeat to, uh, to Winsford. Disappointing. A 3 1 win over Stanford though so let's get back to winning ways Michael Smith grabbing a couple in that one as did our left sided player Tom Gillette and then a 5-3 defeat to Sutton Coalfield they uh, they gave me a bit of a run around this just looks like the same thing twice Ben that's why it should be matched stats easy yeah they had Elliot Harrison score two penalties which is annoying but Michael Smith again getting two goals to his name and he's playing pretty well uh, in this system that we've been playing so far the 4-4-2 is going rather well although squad rotation is an issue for me I don't really I, don't, I just look when I've got a good team I don't like to mess around with the good team too much that's the issue and because i rest players rarely are we not fit enough to play so this is the way things go i'm afraid we have to keep with the, the starting 11 that we've got and this is the team then that will play today taylor campbell coca heath connolly uh, gillette one side thompson the other squires and hallahan in the center pragley uh, prangley will play up front with smith of course and uh, we need some more goals we could play liam kinnear but he seems to be playing better off the bench than he is when he starts games which is a little bit befuddling uh, but the front two are over seven point something average rating so far and doing rather well hopefully today they'll get us some more goals team instructions then have developed since we last met we're now running at the defense passing it into space and, uh, and, and closing down sometimes we're keeping the passing mixed we're not trying to make it too complicated so far just little things here and there whipped crosses as well just, just trying to we're trying to make a nuisance of ourselves and when we're with the ball let's carry it forward let's drive it forward and so far so good so two games today Sheffield and Haver Hill Borough and we'll kick things off then against Sheffield now Sheffield are currently second in the division so this could get this could get painful quickly, but you never know. This uh, sort of early part of the season, you don't know who to pretend and who's a contender. We could well be contenders. We don't know right now. So far, I think we might be pretenders. And they're playing 4-4-2 as well. It's the 4-4-2 versus the 4-4-2. Uh, they've got Travers up front. Who sound, that sounds like Liam's had a nickname, which is Travers. He's actually called like Travington or something, but he's got Travers, mate. All right, up front. I'll oh, enjoy it, son. Eight finishing, so probably score a hat-trick today. Uh, go out there and impress me. They, they aren't. I'm going to say I've got faith in them. Calmly say, I've got faith in you. Go on, get out there. Make the difference. And I accidentally handed the last bit over to the assistant. Well, we are in the blue then, shooting from left to right. We'll minimise the league table. We'll keep the match stats up over on that side, though. And uh, see if we can beat Sheffield. Oh, they've got some tired legs out there, actually. Some of these boys have not been well rested. And the first chance is ours. Thompson to Gillette, who heads just over. Actually, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller so we can uh, we can see the goal properly. As oh, Heath goes very close. i tell you what, 10 minutes in, two clear-cut chances, neither of which have been taken. Travers gets it clear, and there it looks like the pressure for Sheffield is off for now. Unless Thompson on this right side can swing a ball in, he can. Not the best work ever. Squires to Pragney, uh, Pragley to Prangley. Prang will work it out, and uh, Squires on it again. I thought this highlight would end with the corner, but no, we're continuing on. Prangley with it, and uh, it's fouled on the edge, and it looks like it's going to be a free kick. Now, who takes free kicks these days? Is it going to be Thompson? Thompson wants it. Can Thompson put it in the top corner of... No, no, no. All that for that, viewers. Feels like... He's wasted all of our times. So far, we are the dominant force. I do think the fitness of the, our opposition could be a problem. They've got a free kick here, though. 19 Gale puts it in, and 
Travers, my old mucker, he's got the goal, hasn't he? I mean, I say your mucker, we're not. We're probably in the north. We are in the north at Sheffield. The ball's put in, and um, yeah, they've got loads of players on mark. That is, I mean, how he's managed to see that through the crowd of players to first time finish, I, I'll never know. He's got an injury as well. What's that? It's a uh, potential knee injury. You'll be right, Travers, mate. Keep keep out of there. Keep going, son. Campbell is struggling for fitness as well out there. We've got a few issues. Tabin can come on if needs be, though. I think at half time I'll make the switch. Campbell is struggling out there. So we uh, we will indeed make this change. I think we're going to get a serve. Show me something else in the second half. Liam Kinnear off the bench is, uh, is very, very likely. I'm also going to put Tabin out there as a wing-back rather than a full-back defending. So that right side might become a little bit more dominant. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Really, we need Squires and Hallahan in this second half to sort of take over the game a little more. We're going to attack as well. Although this chance here, throw in. And Sheffield United have got... Oh, Sheffield United, sorry, just Sheffield FC. Apologies to any fans of Sheffield that are watching. However unlikely that is. And uh, can we win it off them? Squires, ball forward. And here we go. Prangers, where are you going? We need to give him a name like that. Smith with a chance. Oh, Smith with a finish. His fifth goal in three games. And Michael Smith with an assist from Peter Praggers. Praggers. Hold on. I think it's going to have to be Peter Peter Praggers. Praggers. Peter Praggers. For those that will ask in comment sections in about 30 episodes time, who, who is Praggers? Who is Peter Praggers? Link them back to this video. <laughs> but yeah, there we are then. 1-1. One, one. Michael Smith, uh, Smith with a goal. We've gone slightly more attacking. They've made a switch as well. Squires with a free kick towards Michael Smith again. Well, there's defenders nearby. I was kind of hoping he'd be pulled down actually. Connolly though. Launches one forward again but it doesn't come to anything. And now Sheffield bring it away over on that left hand side. If we can win it back maybe we can counter ourselves but it doesn't seem to be the case as they're working the ball quite nicely and now Chadwick's in acres of space and the ball into the middle could be dangerous Connolly clears out to the target man Smith and maybe this is where the counter attack comes Gillette with the ball over to Praggers his name's not changed yet Praggers with a goal that's what we like to see Gillette with a wonderful ball forward Praggers gets on it and finishes it Thames 1 Sheffield uh, sorry Thames 2 Sheffield 1 you can see here Smith lovely little hold up play from him Gillette's first time ball over the top and there's Praggers on it like a shot our number 9 lashes it into the back of the net and how things have turned around Great performance from us so far. Very well done to everybody. 2-1. Looking good. Just keep this going now, boys. Now, this is the point in which ordinarily I would bring on Liam Kinnear, think about bringing on Jordan Brown. But at this stage, with the way things are set, I don't want to change anything. We get a third. At that point, you can make changes. There's Praggers. Oh, he hits the post. He's pranged the post. That's what he's done. Peter Praggers. I feel like some nursery rhymes would be, would be written about Peter Praggers. Five minutes to go. Time is ticking away. We could go defensive. I mean, we've been attacking this whole time. Put it on the pressure. Time is pretty much up. First game of the episode is going to be Thames 2, Sheffield 1, and a fine performance at uh, the Riverbank. Lovely old stuff. That's what we're looking for. That's what we like to see. You've done brilliantly to come back. Very proud of the performance. I'd like to think a few tweaks there from me made the difference. That wing back option. I think that was the moment, viewers. I think we all know that. Okay, coming up next then, Haver Hill Borough, who I believe we actually played last season because they were in our league again. So this is a returning fixture. And that then puts us up to 10th position. A win against uh, Haver Hill will see us go even higher. Let's, let's make sure we get that then. Cameron Campbell injured for a couple of days uh, with a bruised ankle. As we've got a game not too long away, we're going to put uh, Tabin straight back in there and actually play him as that wing back again. It worked pretty well in that first game. We shall do the same again. And also, actually, now I think about it, there's not long to go before our next game. So we select all of the players that featured and uh, rest them for an extra day. FA Cup. First round qualifying, always exciting. Here we go. We'll do it. We'll do it all. Two hundred and sixty-four teams. I'm not, I'm not made of time. Right. Uh, Hastings or Spalding? Now I'm pretty sure. I get a feeling we've played Hastings before. I, I, I think that's true. Ah uh, yes, I remember this division well. Oh, I missed them all. Missed them all. I don't. It was it was boring, wasn't it? Okay then, folks. Second game of the episode. I'm going to be unchanged, apart from that one switch with Tabern at right back. Then hopefully we'll have a good game. It's the sort of thing here where if we can start the season well, I mentioned this before. Right? But if we start the season well, then all good things should happen. It, well, the way the patterns go in should be two draws now. So let's look forward to the two draws that are incoming, and we'll kick things off here. Oh, we're playing Spalding. I think that draw's been happening, and we'll get them in the first round. Good news. Now we should beat them. Beating them, we'll, we'll probably have the next round of it next time. Last year was a was an embarrassment. We should at least be getting to first round proper, in my opinion. And then, then that's it. <laughs> and Haver Hill Borough are the team we're facing in this second game. Just play well. It's a very, it's quite a, I mean, get the league table up. There's there's so much room for all of this. Just as I I can scroll it, can't I? So if I can't ever fit it in, Ben, just scroll in a bit. Yeah. Well, here we go then. We are in the white and blue. They're in the blue and black uh, colours. As Thompson's ball in, doesn't quite come to anything, but heaven at the right 
back spot. Clears it. If we can win that, we do. Gillette now. If you can get a ball into the centre, Smith and Praggers away. Smith's there. Praggers is there. Peter Praggers with the goal. Peter Praggers picks a pickled goal and it's 1-0 Thames. 30 minutes gone. Looking good. This front two are working very nicely together. A well one back there. Gillette's got a lovely... He's got a wand of a left foot, hasn't he? He's playing very well so far as things stand. And look at that ball in. Smith heads down as well. The partnership. I love it. I love it. A proper partnership. It's so exciting. They're two for their, for their partnership over there. They're, they're struggling. They're both injured. Get them off. Leave. Get, don't even bring on replacements. Just get them off. All right, it's a free kick or a goal kick because that's the rules. Uh, as the ball goes towards Squires. And this is nice. Squires and uh, his midfield partner, Hallahan do quite nicely together. It's Heaven there. Clears it towards Leg and actually does a pretty good job. And now if they can turn... Oh, actually, Blake's not a striker. He's a, he's a winger, I think. As the ball comes inside, we've got to get there. Squires has just beaten to it. Williams as he charges into the area. Flicks it across. Connolly heads clear, but the danger is by far from over. Well, that, that just goes wide. Williams got a chance, but not good enough. As we get to half time, it's going to be Thames 1, Haverhill Borough 0. Aren't we, aren't we fancy now? Look at us potentially winning matches. I passionately say things are going well, but you're capable of even better. One of them, one player cared. I think it was, it was probably Praggers or, or Smith. It was one of them. Thompson on that right hand side. And those people that said 4 4 2 was the future. I think until I had the right partnership, I could never quite bring myself to do it. But now, big man, little man. Cardboard box. We love it. I mean, we're playing in the cardboard box in many ways, aren't we, viewers? Look at it. It's a, a ball played in by them. Squires gets it clear. Now the race is on between Leg and Squires. Leg gets there just ahead of Squires. And now there could be some space in the middle. Squires was pulled out of position. But, oh, Hallahan does brilliantly to win it back. And now Squires plays through Praggers with the pace to score. And the finish ability to... <laughs> the, the ball has come so far out of the net. He's kicked it against a spring. He's flown back out. 2-0 Thames. Praggers, as, I mean, it, that was unnecessarily hard. I mean, we win it back in the middle there Hallahan on him like a shot the slide challenge comes in and Squires' his first time ball is phenomenal the lines we can't even keep up Pregas just goes through and just hammers it into the back of the net pings back out and his arms are doing magical things well, that's what we like to see viewers that's what we're here for 2-0 Peter Pragas with the goals he's loving life Winter plays it in and um, are we going to get their first? Pragas is on it again. Hallahan inside. It's not the best delivery, though. And uh, it does drop in our favour, does it? Yeah, Connolly's on it. And oh, dearie me. Heath, that was a moment of panic. Connolly out to Gillette, who plays a lovely ball to Smith, who's got a little bit of pace. If he could get the finishing ability off as well. Not quite. Still 2 0. Half an hour or so to go. Peter Pragas. He's. he's he, I just like, I like saying it. That's part of it. The Praganator. We could have gone with that. Um, Pragas is going to get onto this as well. If he can get his, his strike partner in, he can. Smith's there. Cleared to Squires. Thompson. Can we get it back in the middle? Maybe a chance. Corner kick. I didn't want that to be the end of the highlight, but a corner suggests it will be. And look at that. Into fifth position. Results clearly going our way elsewhere. We started this episode, remember, in 14th. Yes, we're very early in the season, but we are rising. Are we pretenders? Are we contenders? Who knows? We've got ahead of Bournemouth. You might remember we've got Danny Bath in there too. So this is, this is exceptional stuff. There are just over... 15 minutes to go. I want to see if there's another goal in the game. I think either way, we'll probably make the switch. As Smith goes forward, if you can get a ball in the middle, he can. Squires is there. Squires with a header. And he gets another goal for his campaign. He's loving it. He had a great goal-scoring campaign last year out. And uh, he's doing the same again. I'm not sure if that's his first goal this season. Or he's already got one. But a nicely worked move. Squires, you can see there, the number eight, starts it on the halfway mark. Ball played over by Praggers. Smith puts it in towards uh, Brett, uh, Brett Squires, who heads it into that far corner. And with that, we'll make some changes. Okay, 15 or so minutes to go. And Drunday can come in, in the middle uh, for Hallahan. There's a few issues with, with like player roles in this in this setup, but we're, we're okay. Look, the front two are both on nine ratings. I don't want to take them off. Uh, we'll bring O'Sullivan on as well, actually, and we'll just drop these two because they prefer it a little bit deeper. I think against the better sides, this might be something we do more and more often. If we get into leads that are quite tight, we could bring on those two young defensive midfielders and just see games out. I think that could be that could be a strategy for the future viewers. But so far, so good. Peter Praggers and Brett Squires. Lovely old stuff or job. And there we are then. The game looks all but one on a squarish pitch. Uh, it's Thames 3, Haverhill Borough nil, and a fine goal-scoring display from our front two, as well as uh, Squires, of course, who got on the score sheet. And there we are. Two wins out of two. Yes, I love it. I love it. Well done, Oz. Aren't we fancy? Thames led by a superb Peter Praggers. I love it. He's on, he's on loan from Newport County, 
he's the first player that I've had on loan that I'm, I'm seriously thinking I want him in my team. His contract will be up for them at the end of the year, but I do worry if he plays well, they'll get him back in and they'll play him as much as they possibly can. And who can blame them? We've had a Welsh wizard be a superstar for us before. Could this be uh, history repeating itself? Good to see, though, and uh, we'll praise his performance as well. A few, a few weeks ago, he wasn't scoring. He was getting a little bit down in the dumps, but he's turned it round. And it's my birthday in-game as well. I will be the grand old J. Age of, oh, I'll be 30. I'll be 31. Oh, bl oh blimey. 31. That is going to bring us to the end, then. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. And as mentioned, next episode, uh, we might try and do Bournemouth along with an FA Cup game, if it works out. If not, uh, I don't know when it will be. So, we'll be careful. Let's finish next time. Goodbye. That was fun. Two wins out of two. Come on, Thames.